So in this last exa in this example, the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, if we're trying to go um, from the standard form, uh, Shelby, what we want to do is we want to be able to write it into this conic section so we can identify um, not only the vertex, but also the value of p. So the main important thing is, if you guys notice on these formulas, x's are on one side, y's are on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything, um, everything except for the y's on the left side. So save a little time. I'll just subtract them in my head. Does everybody see how that's going to be a positive x and that's a negative 3? Okay, without showing my inverse operations. Now, the main important thing, if you guys look at this, this needs to be a binomial squared. So if you guys remember, we talked about this at the beginning of the year. You guys also spent time in this in Algebra 2. We need to complete the square, meaning we need to take b divided by 2 and square it. So therefore, I have 1 divided by 2, sorry, 2 divided by 2, and then squared, which equals 1. So I have y squared plus 2y plus 1 equals x minus 3 plus 1. The reason why I do that, again, is now I have created a perfect square trinomial, which can be factored into a binomial squared. Now I have satisfied that requirement. Okay. Then here I get um, plus 1, so that's going to be x minus 2. That would be your final equation. Now, we're not done, though, yet. Do I have a 4p in front of here? No. no. What number do I have? I have a 1 in front. Right? Well, we, remember, I'm asking you to find the vertex, the focus, the axis symmetry. Right? So we're not going to be able to figure all that out from here. So the vertex is pretty easy to understand. The vertex is going to be negative 1, 2. All right. Now, the other thing that's kind of important about this is y is squared, correct? So does the graph open up? Does the graph go open up, down, up, down left or right? Left or right. Left or right, right? So Kaylee, what I would recommend doing is plotting the vertex, because that's pretty easy to find. And now we know that, again, um, we know the graph is going to be opening you know, either left or right or so forth. Well, our 4a, is that positive or negative? positive. So we know the graph is going to be opening up to the right because positive is going to shift you up. Just like on a quadratic, if the p is positive, you go up. If p was negative, you'd go down. So when p is positive, we're going to the right. So I know my graph looks something like this. All right. Now I need to figure out what, one, what my p is. So I say 1 equals 4p. Divide by 4, divide by 4, p equals 1 fourth. This is really probably, really probably one of the most important ones because the other ones were pretty introductory. So you have p equals 1 fourth. Now, if you guys here have the graph, to find the focus, I am go the focus is like right here. Right? Would it be 2 negative 1? Yes, it would be, actually. Thank you. Good call. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So anyways, though, the focus is right here. Right? And the directrix is going to be right here. Now, here is my point. Here is my vertex. To find the focus, I need to go how far over to the right? Well, how far do you go from your vertex to your focus? What value? Guys, it's written right here. You go P. So what is our value of P? Four. So our focus is going to be um, 2 plus 1 fourth minus 1. And my directrix is going to be x equals 2 minus 1 fourth. Now, obviously, if I'm asking um, all these points um, value, my axis of symmetry is going to be y equals negative 1. That's pretty easy. Vertex is pretty easy. Now you guys just need to add and multiply to um, 2 over 4. So what I'd recommend doing is, again, making sure that you're, when you're doing these problems, if you have 2 plus 1 fourth, you rewrite that. Uh, multiply it by 2 over 2. So you have, I'm sorry, 4 over 4. So therefore, you'd have 8 over 4 plus 1 over 4. 
So therefore, this point for my focus is 9 over 4, comma, negative 1. Whereas this point, my directrix, is going to be x equals 7 over 4, or x equals negative 7, which is my vertical line. So remember, p, 4p, right? 4p, it's what multiplied by this side. I don't have a number there, so I have 1. So 1 equals 4p. Divide by 4, p equals 1 fourth. All right, I will save you your time of doing the last one. The last one does have fractions, though. The main important thing, oh, there's a couple other things.